G'day folks, John in Thailand. I'm out at number one orchard. I'm having a look at some baby mangoes. Well, unfortunately they haven't come at the right time for us. We needed them a month ago for probably late December, early January sales, but we'll be lucky if we get any mid-January sales now. By February the price will be starting to go down. So not good for us but anyway here we are little 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 little, little baby mango yeah and there's even smaller ones on the trees here at the moment <laughs> another reasonably sized one uh, yeah so they're all gonna grow up and all be sellable as long as they uh, don't get eaten by insects or fall off the tree or whatever you know, we do, t we do tend to lose what seems to me like a, um, a lot. You know, maybe last year we probably could have lost 100 kilograms of fruit. Could have been more. I knew it, it took an accurate count. More little mangoes, babies. Yeah. When you see mangoes on the tree like this, even though they're little baby ones, you know that down the track you're going to make some income because this is the only farm income we make when we sell mangoes there's other things in the pipeline like um i i've got uh, moringa seedlings at the moment and then we'll plant the trees up on the other land in uh in Pechabun, which is over there if we didn't have all these trees here you could just about see ticks land it's only about four kilometers away when you're on the main highway, which is like half a kilometre from here, you can you can see um, you can see the the land because there's like you know a hill and three trees and a salar on the top. Uh, yeah, so not every tree's got an abundance of mangoes, but every tree will have some. And we did we did have. Uh, not last time, earlier this year, but the time last year, we we got the guy to come out who does um, grafting, and there's uh, there's gold mangoes grafted onto a lot of these trees. We got two and a half thousand done last year. This is gold mango grafted there, I think. No, <laughs> it's getting a bit dark. It's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, it wasn't necessarily, you know, like a group of trees in one area, like grafting's been done over a fairly wide area, and I just cannot see one that's been grafted. The light's against me. It's like about 5.40 in the afternoon, and it'll be dark in another 20 minutes. And I better be out of here because the werewolves might be coming out tonight. <laughs> Joking. Uh, yeah, so that's about it for now. Plenty of other things to do. Tick's got a couple of Buddhist days tomorrow and Saturday. The damn tractor's up at Saklek at the Kubota dealership getting uh, the clutch looked at. There's something wrong with the clutch. Uh, I'm working on the on the greenhouses or the greenhouse, not houses, one house. Um, that'll be a six by ten meter greenhouse and if that works out there will be more greenhouses later <laughs> uh, but we need to try it out and see if we can grow things that are sellable that are organic uh, I've got a plan but um, there's also another plan which is a different plan is to grow uh, moringa trees and uh, we already have some moringa trees down at granny block although they're not doing as well as I'd like uh, but we have to, we have to uh, give it a try. You know, we've got some more land over there at Pechabun, which I mentioned. Uh, we'll put the moringa trees up there. I got 45, which have survived out of the. I think it was 65 I planted. Some of them didn't do well. Uh, yeah, and the mother tree's got more seed pods on it, like dozens and dozens and dozens. So. I'll have more seeds come January, I'd say. But that, it takes a while to get the, the seeds established. Um, turn into seedlings and you've got to put them in the ground. 
anyway that's all that's all next year stuff for now i'll uh, i'll leave you and you have a good night and i'll try and have a good night too bye